Now I'm gonna show you a certain problem that may appear during your use of the AIST device and how to, to solve this kind of problem such as the password problem, okay? Now let's select one 2.4G Wi-Fi to connect, okay? So let's connect this one after I click it now the password is already here because I typed this password before and the application has the memory function so we don't need to type it again so now what I'm wanting to show is that if you type into a wrong password what should we do so let's test it okay now this is the right password it's uys201607 right now let's delete two numbers okay so now it becomes like a, like this then let's click continue waiting for wi-fi connection let's see what will happen incorrect wi-fi password Please cancel the setup in the app and try again. Kate, the voice prompt tells us that this password is incorrect. And it lets us come back to type it again. But on this page, it is still connecting, right? Let's wait for what will happen later. It's still rotating because of the wrong password. So we cannot connect the Wi-Fi forever because of, because of this fault. Now we have come to a connection failed page, right? And it tells us the problems and this problem is due to the password mistake. When you encounter such a scenario, don't worry. Follow my steps, okay? Let's click retry and the settings. Go back here, as you can see, this SSID, let's check the side panel. There's a white label here the last four numbers are BF28 and here on the phone it's also BF28 so this SSID is the hotspot for this I50B unit so let's connect it again go back you are now connected to your speaker follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup okay keep it so now it's loading, loading. We have been to this page again, remember it? Is it familiar? Then let's connect the 2.4G Wi-Fi again. Go to the password column, make it seem, then Let's type the correct password. Oh, wrong again. Okay, so now this one is the correct password. Continue. Waiting for Wi-Fi connection. It's now connecting. Connected to your Wi-Fi network. Okay, it's connected as the voice prompt tells us. So now it's connected. Okay, next. And then you can rename your rename your device. Let's do it. So now as you can see, it's already connected successfully and the device appears in the device list. So this is what I I'm wanting to show. 
when you encounter such a kind of scenario, how should you do? So you need to remember my steps to do that, okay? So thanks for watching. This is my solution for the problems you may have. Thank you. Bye.